This is Lemmy with RevZilla. Welcome back to another two minute lesson. Today we're gonna to be discussing how to know when it's time to replace a tire. Now there are some times when it's pretty evident that you need to replace a tire. For instance, if you happen to have an unrepairable puncture or perhaps your tire is badly cracked or maybe you're seeing some flat spotting in a tire. Most experienced motorcyclists know that it's time to replace a tire here. Now if you've come here and you really have no idea when to replace your tires just in terms of wear, a pretty easy check is to simply look for the wear bar on the tire. If you can see the wear bar come even with the tread pretty much any place across the face of the tire, it's time for a new set of shoes. I've worn lots of shoes. However, what I really wanted to talk about were a couple of cases where it's not really so obvious that you might need to replace a tire. And the first one is gonna to come to a repaired tire. Now, whether you've plugged or patched a tire, that's great. And those should really be considered temporary methods to get home. Now, the reason I'm mentioning this is because I'm not aware of a tire manufacturer in the world that will sort of keep the load and speed rating intact for a repaired tire. All repaired tires lose load and speed ratings. The problem is many motorcycles out there require a load and speed rated tire. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that I've never kept the repaired tire on a motorcycle for a long time. I have, but I will tell you it's not the best choice and I wouldn't recommend necessarily that you do it either. Now, another time a tire can be repaired as well is if a tire tends to make noise. We hear this complaint kind of a lot. It's almost always related to a front tire. Rear tires, driven tires, tend to not have this problem. However, a tire that's up front can't be rotated with the rear tire, and a tire that's not driven has this nasty habit of sort of, the tread rolls down, it kind of compresses in the front of each block, it scuffs as it comes under the tire, and then it continues on. This cycle repeats over and over and over. And as it does that, it wears the front of the tread blocks down. If you go to your front tire and you pet it, and sort of in the direction of, you know, that it doesn't rotate, front to back, and it feels fine, but then you sort of reverse your petting method, and it feels like a hedgehog, you probably have this problem. Your tires are probably pretty noisy, especially when you get into a turn. This is a perfectly legitimate reason to replace a tire, even if it does look like you still have tread on there. Note, your tread depth's gonna vary between the front and rear of a block, sometimes rather significantly. And finally, another time I think that almost everybody should consider a set of tires in their future is if they just don't like the tires. I don't like them. Why don't you like them? Because I don't like them. Oftentimes we hear people call us up, complain of a tire, but they don't want to replace it simply because there's life left in the tire. You can always sell your used tires, or you can simply throw them in the trash. There's no rule that says you have to ride around on a motorcycle with a set of tires that don't make you feel confident. Now you should know a little bit more about when you might want to think about replacing your skins, and sometimes you didn't know that maybe you want to replace your skins. Make sure you check out our other two-minute lessons. I'm Lem. I'm out of here.